Hello there, and welcome back to Harmonica Lessons for All podcast. I, my name is Matheus Verdino, and I'll be your host. So, before we get to anything related to music theory, the first thing you want to know if you're a beginner is how to get a single note, a clean single note, out of your harp. I try recording this a couple of times because I'm new to podcasts, and I think I ended up talking more than showing examples and playing, so what I'll do, I'll get all the chat out of the way first. I will go through everything I think is good for to achieve a single note by puckering, which is one of the images you're going to learn. There are two. Puckering, which is like with a whistle-shaped mouth, and there's tongue blocking, which uh, you use the tongue to cover two or three holes on the harp and just on the right side of your mouth there's the space where the air will flow and that allow you, allows you to get your tongue out and back and creating an effect um, of like a chord that can give you some sense of, um, of rhythm for instance so beginner when you hear some you know feeling like this is probably a tongue blocking but we're not going to get into that so without taking more time i want to talk about what i think is the optimal way of achieving amateur or parkering so first thing you want to do is shape your mouth in an o form which i say is something related to a, a whistle shaped mouth or like drinking water if you're going for the whistle it's like a feather whistle not as thin as like if i if i were to whistle it would sound <laughs> but your mouth is too thin so you go to the <laughs> and try to get the feather whistle a couple of things you want to do is don't force your mouth too much is uh, the embouchure should not be over exaggerated just to try to achieve the note so it's a relaxed but steady Immature. You want to keep the harmonica flat to the floor, is the way I parallel to the floor, so you don't want to tip the, the holes up because it's hard to get the note. You want to get it kind of parallel to the floor, like the photo I'm going to show, and um, like this. That's the, the way of holding on your mouth to into your mouth, so you want to do that. You want to try moving the harp a little and a couple of things that will happen is that you will try to grasp the note and maybe force it too much try to relax you might be exactly in between two notes so you get what i call the dirty note and you want to learn how to do that but further down so you can use it to your benefit uh you want to now just get the single note so put on your mouth parallel to the floor your Mouth will cover about three to four holes, but the air is going just to one hole. And I'll put a, a picture of the area your mouth takes and the area that the airflow goes into. Um, another thing you want to be aware is when you get the dirty note, which is like dirty with the second note, the other uh, on top or below the note that you want to isolate you will move the harmonica to the right and to the left very very slowly and slightly until you kind of clean that you go into the actual just the hole you want to blow so what you want to do is move it very slowly very slowly and you can do that from the four we're going to start from the four up to the seven and this will be in the exercise as soon as i stop talking so you want to do it really slow and remember to bring your mouth with you because if you're forcing too much your mouth it starts to, to stick to the harp so this is how a, a clean whole uh, a clean note on the four blow and that's the way we're gonna communicate by the way is through i will say four blow and that's the way talking a little bit about the tablature i will use on the on the pictures blow for b draw for d and we'll get into the other uh definitions later 
So right now, this is the single note. That's a four blow, four draw. All right, so what is the sound you want to avoid? That is this, for instance. If, if my four blow, it's not clean, and it's like getting a little bit of the fifth hole, it would sound like this. And then a little bit of the three would sound like this. So you want to avoid that to begin with. And um, so here is the exercise I want you to do is just move it slightly. So uh, what I'll do, I'll move it to, towards the third hole and then I'll move it towards the fifth hole so you can kind of get an idea how it sounds. So first clean, to close to the third, clean, close to the fifth. Sounds like this. So one exercise you can do is just go and try to go up just blowing or just drawing just one air direction and go from one four to five and to six if you can do it if not you just stop breathe because breathing is something we're going to get into and you might get in the beginning you might have to you know you know so a couple of problems trying to control your airflow we're going to get to that right now we just want a single note so here we go um first exercise four blow five blow six blow seven blow by the way i will be talking about the exercises and um spelling them out but i'll also try to put on the picture so you can follow all right we can pause so here we go that's a simple one one two three And you can go back and it this is the way in my sound if you go really slow it will, it will you will can you can hear the single note note four single pure and then dirty with the fifth and then five single note it sounds like this And you can do the same with the draw. One, two, three. Oh. Breathe. So that's the first simple exercise. Second thing you want to do is start to move the airflow. So blow four, draw floor four, sorry. Blow five, draw five, which is in our C harp. That's what you're gonna need, if you remember. Um is C D E F. So here we go. Um two, three, four. Breathe and go back. Three, four, five draw, five blow, four draw, four blow. One, two, three, four. And then you're gonna end up the C scale by going six blow, six draw, seven draw, and seven blow.
And as soon as we finish this, we're going to talk about the harmonica layout, right? So from six blow, six draw, seven draw, seven blow, and back. One, two, three, four. Breathe in. So, now that I give you this simple exercise, what we're going to talk, remember, just a little bit of talking, I'll try to give you more exercises, but the thing is, I need to clear some things here. Uh, we're using a C diatonic harp, and um, the reason I'm counting, that's another tip for a beginner, I would like you to tap your feet. Uh, like marking this tempo, setting the tempo. Uh, doesn't matter that you're not good with that. You can go over some songs or whenever you listen to a song, you just try to tap your feet to that song and get the beat. That's very important. So you want to try start doing that before you get a metronome. And um, so I will put now the layout of the harp on the on the picture. So that's just the natural notes I want to talk about. The first octave we go C, D, and I'm talking about blow and draw for now. One is C, D, two is E, G, three is G, B, and I know that doesn't make much sense and that's why a lot of people get frustrated when they're starting the harp without knowing what are the notes or what to do with them. But on the second octave, which means eighth notes from one, from the, the key of your harp up to the same note, one octave, the eighth note, which is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C again. It's a eighth note, so it's your, and that's your, your octave. So from four to seven, you have a complete octave on the C major scale. And that's the octave we are exploring right now. So... With that said, you can perform a couple of different exercises if you are a beginner. Uh, the first, I just the first couple first I just gave you. So you want to try going a little faster. So now it's just a little more. You know, need to be, but we are still on those exercises. I'm gonna do up and down one and two, and then again up and down. Three and four, but one note per almost all the notes are one beat, and I would just rest a little bit. You see, it's something like this one, two, three, four. It's a simple scale exercise, but there's a little jump as soon as you go up and down the first and second exercise and you're back to 4B, you have to jump and go all the way up to 6B. And it might sound easy, but it's not. If you're just starting, your harp looks way bigger than it really is once you put your mouth on it. And um, you want to be able to work out those distances. Distances, sorry. So, you know, try to go uh, four, five, four, six, or blow, for instance, just to get a sense of the distance between, between notes. So, this is four blow, five blow, four blow, and now four blow, six blow, four blow. It's a simple exercise. You can do the same thing drawing. It's 
so the, I will give you, I will do it again slowly, so we give you the reference. 454. Four six four all below. And the draw. Now I'll draw. Four five four four six four. do with me and try to get the right notes try to get it slowly stop and go back do it again and uh, still in the same exercise you can start doing faster and uh, just go half the way for instance uh, four blow five four blow four draw five blow I'm going Four blow, four draw, five blow, and back. Four blow, four draw, five blow. It's another exercise. If, if you're a beginner, anything can be an exercise for you. So that's another idea. Same thing on the three and four exercise. Just repeating the seven at the end. Six blow, six draw, seven draw. A couple of times. And then two seven blows. So there is a assortment of exercise you can start practicing all in this particular region from four to seven and that will help you very much get a hold of the distances of the airflow and try to do it slowly and trying to achieve the single the clean single note so what that's your goal you want to do it slowly and patiently to achieve a clean single note and to wrap up this lesson, I just want to do a very simple exercise, which is go up and down the C major scale from four to seven. And each note will have the duration, the four beat duration. One, two, three, four. Rest, and then from the top, back to the bottom. One, two, three, four. So that's a simple exercise and if you're having some trouble doing it which is perfectly normal you want to try to break it into smaller parts you want to do it slowly and patiently trying to aim for the single note a clear clean single note that's it for today and i hope you enjoyed this has been the harmonica lessons for all podcast and remember if you have any questions uh, suggestions or uh, critiques, please email me at harmonicaforall at gmail.com. Have a good one. Thank you. Goodbye.